what up everybody welcome back to some news for you guys and it looks like that the pixel 10 can run uh linux apps much better now so uh before we get started into that if you guys could do me a solid smash that like button i would truly appreciate that as well as turning on bell notifications so you guys don't miss a video upload or in fact when i go live all that good stuff hype the video i would truly appreciate it um the article in question comes from Android Authority, and as it says, Google Pixel 10 can now run Linux apps better than other Android phones. Now, this pertains to, you know, something that you can pretty much, um, you know, get done just by going into developer options, which, you know, I'll have like a little uh, screen grab done up of here. But um, you can go into developer options and you can enable this and turn this on and it allows you to open up the Linux terminal and allow you to basically run uh, Linux apps. Um, there are only specific devices that uh, well here i'll just lay it out for you guys if you want to know if your device your android device on um, android 16 can run linux apps and be able to utilize the linux terminal you would have to have a device that has a google tensor chip a mediatek i think 9500 and an exynos 2600 or 2500 i could be wrong on that um if you're wondering about the illustrious Snapdragon uh, 8 Elite, no. Any phone that runs a Snapdragon 8 Elite cannot utilize this. Um, Qualcomm did make a statement on it. They felt like that it wasn't something that a lot of people are going to be interested in. And by right, that's probably going to be it, right? A lot of uh, regular users of Android devices are not really going to care to run Linux apps. So this is something that's going to pertain mostly to the geeks and the nerds out there who tend to do these types of things, right? Um, so takeaways from this is, is Google is adding GPU acceleration for graphical Linux apps to Android terminal app, but the feature is currently exclusive to the Pixel 10. So Pixel 10s can do the GPU acceleration. Uh, this feature relies on, um, on GF Xtreme, a library that forwards graphics API calls from the guest Linux virtual machine to the host Android device GPU for acceleration rendering. Uh, though the feature is live for Pixel 10 and Android 16 QPR2 Beta 3, it's still buggy and doesn't yet offer the near native performance expected. So keep those things in mind. And this is what I'm saying. Like a lot of uh, people that, you know, are um, just everyday users are not going to care about this, right? So this is not like a big deal. This is not like a gotcha type thing, right? This is just something that, you know, for a lot of us who uh, use um, Android and Android 16 and we want to use these Linux apps or these desktop Linux app versions, we are able to do that. Uh, from the terminal app on the Pixel 10. And like I said, MediaTek and Exynos chips are able to support this. Uh, Snapdragon 8 Elite, not able to support this. They don't have support for this. So um, yeah, anyways, so uh, if you're somebody who likes to dabble with Linux apps and such and those types of things, then yeah, definitely go to open up developer options, enable this on, test it out for yourself. I have it uh, enabled on my Pixel 10. And I'm going to play around with it a little bit and then probably do like a review on it later on. If anyone's interested, let me know in the comments if you are and I'll do that. If not, then, you know, I'll just, it'll just be a for me type thing. But um, yeah, so uh, tell me what you guys think. Are you guys interested in running Linux apps on your Pixel 10? <sighs> when you have dogs and their five-star security alarms, drop a like. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.